What's going on guys, Rob from clicksgeek.com. In today's video, we're gonna run through creating a Google Ads Smart Campaign. Now, it's basically just a watered down version of a search campaign, but I have seen it work really well with local businesses. If you're like in junk removal or service-based stuff, HVAC, it can work good, but there's limitations to it. And I'm gonna go through that in a minute. So let's just get right into it today. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. We're going to build a campaign from scratch. So in this example today, we're going to build a smart campaign for my company, which is ClicksGeek. And I think today we're going to do the white label side of it. We'll try that. So we'll come up here. You should be into your dashboard. In Google Ads, you'll see the, the little campaigns tab here. <clears throat> and we're going to click the plus sign, new campaign. We're going to come down here. We're going to create a campaign without a goal. We're going to come down here to smart. And let's say we want to have people call us. So you have a few options here. You have people call your business, visit your storefront, which is actually drive foot traffic to your location if you're a brick and mortar uh, store, or action on your website, which could be clicks or leads or whatever you want to do. So for us, let's do call. We're going to do call our business, continue, business name. Sorry, hang with me there a sec. Your website. So business name, website, next. We'll let Google do its thing and get everything set up. So we're going to advertise. You can do specific zip codes, cities, or regions. For us, we're going to do just the entire United States because we service everywhere obviously put your location here or you can do an address advertise near an address so you can do like a radius type targeting if you're local hit next alright so this is suggesting keywords for us here so I'm gonna add a keyword thing and we'll do It's not really giving us many options here. White label is a very small pool though. All right, so it's telling us potential audience size, not that big. We probably should have built a campaign to do just pay-per-click agency. Let's try that actually. It's gonna give us a bigger PPC marketing agency, PPC advertising agency. PPC marketing services. So we want to keep it themed on PPC because that's really all we do. PPC agency, PPC advertising. I can see here everything's going up. So you can kind of see how I'm keeping the keywords tightly themed to agency type, advertising, agency. I'm actually going to get rid of PPC advertising because I don't want people searching for how-to videos or stuff like that. I kind of want people looking for a service. You got to be really careful when you choose your keywords using the smart campaigns because if you go too broad or the intents not if you're unsure of the intent you could get traffic that is completely irrelevant and you can't use negative keywords in smart campaigns so that's why you have to be extra careful the way you choose what keywords you're using all right so see like PPC marketing that's too broad I don't know I'm not I'm unsure of the intent behind this keyword. Same with PPC advertising, because this could be someone looking for an agency to help them or someone looking to learn it about PPC advertising or how-to videos or training, stuff like that. And if I'm building a campaign trying to get PPC marketing clients, business owners, then I need to go after agency type keywords, right? So PPC marketing services, PPC management service. I would actually also go with PPC management AdWords PPC management or PPC management pricing pricing is still though I would add it why not spelled that wrong hang with me there guys one I'm gonna have one more keyword
All right, so we got a nice pool of people here. Potential audience size, 423,000. We're going to hit next. Now, obviously, guys, you want to add as many keywords as you possibly can. But keep in mind, when you're doing that, like I said before, make sure you, you are dead accurate about the intent of the people searching for each individual keyword. You want to make sure the intent is there. <clears throat> All right, so we go to next. We're going to do our ads here. kind of giving you some suggestions here. So hang with me guys because I'm trying to think of uh, ad copy I need to put here <laughs> and keep training in the video. All right, so uh, description one, call us today for over the phone pricing. Hold on. Let me, uh, Drop the capital letters here. You could do either one, but call us today for over the phone pricing on call us today for over the phone pricing on running. A Google Ads PPC campaign, and obviously, guys, you want to take your time and put thought into this. I'm just trying to go on the off the top of my head on the fly right now while I got you here. So remember, we're going after PPC agency stuff. So we need a new PPC agency, USA based. I'm gonna hit your bullet points here. Fully USA based team, Google Premier Partner Agency calls today for over the phone pricing on running a Google Ads PPC campaign. So you do your ad, get it all done, go to next, do the phone number. So for us, we'll just do our main website phone number here. Google Ads customer call. Pretty cool. It's going to say that when someone calls you. Then we're going to hit next. We're going to set our budget. It's going to give you some recommendations here. Recommended for you, 15 so you can just choose whatever you want, or you can come down here, enter your own budget, whatever you want to do. I'll just do the recommended for right now. And you're going to name the campaign. Let's do Clicks Geek Retail Agency Campaign. So we're going after retail, people looking for pay-per-click. Campaign goal, call your business. We have our ad. Obviously, you guys, you want to add a few ads. I just kind of did that quickly. Phone calls, next. That's it. Or we gotta set up your conversion tracking, but I think I already have that set up. And it's telling me I don't have British. That's kind of funny considering it's my account, but you wanna have your um, Google Ads account linked to your analytics account to set up your conversion stuff. It should show every time a phone call is clicked, is verified call. So it's going to count as a conversion for whatever number you put in there. I suggest you put a uh, tracking number in as the phone number you're doing if you're doing a call campaign. Whether that's call rail or call fire or whatever you use, doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much it, guys, how to build a smart campaign. There's not really much else to it. Um, make sure you have form submission tracking set up in the conversion settings in your Google Ads account if you're going to run this kind of stuff. And um, if you don't know how to set that up, go to my ClicksGeek channel and look at the playlist conversion tracking. I have dozens of videos on how to set each conversion goal up and 
get them all the codes installed and stuff like that. It's really simple. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. I want to put some stuff in there for you guys from uh, our agency stuff to some different training courses we offer, all that, uh, all that jazz, all that good stuff. All right, I will catch you guys later.